Hey everybody, this is Ashton and Jordan from Show Me Vegas. And tonight and tomorrow night we are going on a dining adventure. We have actually never been to Hell's Kitchen at Caesars. And we've never been to Ramsey's Kitchen over at Harris. Now that one's a lot newer, so that's easier to believe. But we figured since we're staying here at Caesars, this was the perfect time to try out Hell's Kitchen and then show you Ramsey's Kitchen as well. So in this video, we're gonna show you both restaurants and we'll also decide whether or not these restaurants are worth the hype. <laughs> All right, so we got in and got seated. First things first, you're gonna wanna make a reservation here. It's almost impossible to get into. Reservations are available two months in advance, but we weren't that quick. We made this reservation about six weeks out and the best we could do for dinner was 3.15 in the afternoon. So I guess we're gonna call this dinner. Now, if you don't have a reservation, you're not totally out of luck. You can call the day up and see if they've had any cancellations. You never know, you might just get lucky. What do you think about this window table, babe? The window is pretty awesome. It's really cool to look out over Caesars and the fountains. That's good. And look at the size of this cocktail. Yeah. Look at the volume it's in that. That's like eight ounces of, of fluid. I don't, I'm not sure I want to know how much bourbon's in that. Maybe I do. Thoughts on the beet salad, babe? So it's super fresh. It's got a lot of unique ingredients, but they really work together. It's it's fantastic. One thing I'll say about the beet salad is the goat cheese is, is more mild than what you might think. I'm not usually a huge fan of goat cheese, but with the beets and those little mandarin oranges and the pistachios, it all works together really well. And it's not overpowering at all. It's just really good. All right, the mains have arrived and I went with the classic beef wellington. You've got to try this if you're coming to a Gordon Ramsay restaurant for the first time. And Ashton got the Jadori chicken scallopini, which we're told is going to be a little bit spicy, so looks great. You ready? So ready. All right, I'm kind of going to break a rule a little bit here. We don't normally eat a lot on camera, but this is the first. This is the first bite of the famous beef Wellington. Medium rare, of course. They don't even ask you how you want it cooked because that's the way it's supposed to be cooked. I'm having a lot of trouble getting it on my fork. Here we go. There's almost a smokiness to it. Huh. Interesting. I'm going to need a little more time to digest what I think about that. And I'll get back to you. So the chicken is really, really tender and moist. It's got mushrooms and kale and microgreens. It's got a really good grilled smoky flavor. A hint of spice with some red pepper. pepper. <laughs> Did you say pecker? <laughs> There's a red pecker in there? Red pecker. 
was in the first place. But overall, it's 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 delicious. It is good. I just had a, a taste of it myself, and I I approve. Back to the video in just a second, but first I want to tell you about Magic Spoon. Have you ever wondered why we grew up and our cereal didn't? One of my favorite childhood memories was eating my favorite cereal on a Saturday morning while I watched cartoons. But let's face it, we probably shouldn't eat like we did back then. If you're like me, it's a new year and you want to feel better about what you're eating. It's wholesome, high quality, high protein, with zero sugars and zero artificial ingredients. Each serving of Magic Spoon has 140 calories with zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and four to five grams of net carbs. I love the chocolate, but why choose? Click the link below, that way you can grab a variety pack and try them all. The variety pack includes four delicious flavors, fruity, frosted, cocoa, and peanut butter. It fits a variety of lifestyles, including those looking for a high protein diet or keto. It's the same great taste you remember, but upgraded with grown up ingredients. Nothing is artificial. And be sure to use the code SHOWMEVEGAS at checkout or go to magicspoon.com slash showmevegas to receive $5 off your order. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's backed by a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you're unsatisfied for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. So start the new year off right by clicking the link below or scan the QR code on your screen and use the code SHOWMEVEGAS or again, go to magicspoon.com slash SHOWMEVEGAS to get $5 off your order today. All right, let's get back to the video. All right, quick update. I have had several more bites and uh, it gets better with every bite. This is a really tender filet and I'm a filet guy and the flavors are terrific with that glaze, the potato puree, it's very good. I at first was worried that I didn't like it, and the more of it I have, the more I like it. This is this is really good. All right, so the mains are done, and we are getting the sticky toffee pudding with my prefix menu. But we're also gonna try something else. That coconut three ways we've seen in some other videos. So I think we just we just have to try it. Is have to the right term? All right. Screw Scratch that, the sticky toffee pudding arrived and it is humongous. So I don't think we're going to be able to do two desserts. Babe, let's, uh, you do the honors. You tell me how that is. Wow. I don't, I'm not expressive. You know that if you watch this channel very much. That is, and I've said this before, that is almost a religious experience. That is so good. And I haven't even had it with the ice cream yet. Hold on, ice cream. And we're not big dessert people, but I knew this was going to be good because I love these flavors. Oh my gosh. I don't think I'm overreacting when I say that's one of my favorite things that I've ever eaten in my entire life. It's that good. If you come to a Gordon Ramsay restaurant, get the sticky toffee pudding. Don't hesitate. All right, all finished here at Hell's Kitchen. What do you think? It was, it was really good. It was really good. You know what? We're not going to do our entire thoughts right here outside the restaurant. We're going to go upstairs to the room and let you know what we thought. But... That was an outstanding meal. All right, back in the room from dinner at Hell's Kitchen. I say dinner, but it's not even five o'clock and we're all finished. Like we mentioned, make your reservation as far in advance as you can so you can get an actual dinner time. Overall, what'd you think? So I have to be honest, I went into this expecting it to be good, um, but I feel like it did exceed my expectations. Yeah, I think it really did. I think I'd heard so many opinions, people saying, oh, celebrity chef restaurants aren't worth it. You're just paying for the name that I thought it wasn't gonna be that good. And I was really pleasantly surprised with it. Yeah, I, I was too. And we, we were both talking that um, I didn't, I don't feel like it was any more expensive than you know any other nice restaurant on, on the strip. No, I don't think it was. Our dinner was, here I'll put the bill on the screen, less than $200 before tip. And if you compare that to any other nice restaurant on the Las Vegas Strip, I don't think that's any more expensive than what you would pay that's really not that expensive. And we left absolutely stuffed and we tried the signature dishes and uh, each had a drink. 
Yeah, um, the one thing I will say is that even though the restaurant was really beautiful, um, it's not an intimate romantic setting. It is pretty loud in the restaurant. Um, so just, I guess, know that going in. But I think if you are a Gordon Ramsay fan, or honestly, even if you're not, um, I, I would recommend it. Well, after that, I'm pretty excited for tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. We'll see how it goes, and we will check back in with you guys tomorrow night for Ramsey's Kitchen. All right, time for night two of this Gordon Ramsay adventure. Last night at Hell's Kitchen was pretty darn good. Mm -hmm. I believe that this restaurant's probably going to be a little bit more of that romantic and intimate atmosphere. So even though it is by the same celebrity chef, I expect it to be quite a bit different in atmosphere. Absolutely. We've got to get going. We're at Caesars. It's over at Harris. It's going to be quite a little bit of a walk, so we got to get going. Let's go check out Ramsey's Kitchen. All right, we got seated here at Ramsey's Kitchen, and as expected, this is a much nicer environment. Yeah, it's definitely more intimate, romantic. Yeah. Now, while you're going to want to make a reservation here as well, it's not nearly as difficult to get as it is over at Hell's Kitchen. One or two weeks out, you'll be fine here. Um, but like we said, we're pretty excited about this. I got the spiced pear, a cocktail um, that was highly recommended from our server. Ashton just went with a glass of wine tonight, Cabernet, I don't even remember where it's from. Who cares? The spiced pear is delicious. The menu is not huge, uh, but we did settle on the king crab and some oysters as an appetizer. I'm gonna get the roasted grape flatbread actually as a main. And you're doing the butternut squash risotto? With uh, scallops added to it. The scallops added on top. We'll show you guys the food when it comes out. One more update, price is kinda high. Not kinda, a lot high. $24.95 for this, $24.95. And $24.95 of this, and I'm pretty sure that is the cheapest red wine they have on the menu. Yeah, that's high. So the appetizers are gone. I was going to mention, we were going to get the small seafood tower, and we appreciate that our server said, don't get the seafood tower. I always tell people, get the king crab, and then something else, like maybe the oysters, because the seafood tower just has some filler items in it, and you're getting a lot better value if you do it a different way. And we really appreciate that. Yeah. Service has been great so far. Hi there. Would you like another glass? Um, and another spice pair? No, I think okay. I think we're gonna pass on more cocktails. Speaking of service, the service has been great so far. She is hilarious and uh, really good. Offered a great suggestion to help us save a little bit of money, and I appreciate it. King crab was good. King crab was awesome. The oysters were the top. So our mains have arrived, and I know this looks kind of like a weird meal because I'm eating this appetizer flatbread as my entree, but I did eat almost all of the king crab, and it was outstanding. This butternut squash risotto. It's really good. It's very it's perfectly prepared, and then we got the scallops on top of that. We're going to be perfectly happy with the amount of food, especially with those two appetizers, and um, so far, everything is really good. This flatbread is really interesting. The roasted grape flatbread. It's got mascarpone cheese, uh, blue cheese, grapes, pork belly, and then like a balsamic and some microgreens and everything. It's a strange mix of, of stuff, but it, it works really well together. With this amount of food, we're going to get perfectly full and we still have dessert to go. So. And of course, we had to get the sticky toffee pudding again. I loved it so much last night. Looks like it's exactly the same way here at Ramsey's Kitchen and two coffees.
same sticky toffee pudding as last night, and once again, I uh, I just light up. She told me yesterday that this must appeal to my inner Englishman, which is most of my DNA. I don't know something. What did you say about it about me? I was like, he, he's like, he's literally glowing when he eats it. <laughs> I wish he felt that way about me. <laughs> and he feels about the sticky toffee pudding. I am very passionate about sticky toffee pudding. All right, we just finished up here at Ramsey's Kitchen. I already know which one I like better, but we're going to talk this over and go finish this video up in the room. All right, so obviously we're not back in the room. We uh, just kind of forgot to film that. So we're going to give you our thoughts on Ramsey's Kitchen back here at home. I thought Ramsey's Kitchen was, was very nice. The atmosphere was intimate and definitely more of a romantic, I guess, vibe than what Hell's Kitchen was. It didn't live up, though, I don't think, to the standard of Hell's Kitchen the night before. Would you agree? No, and in fact, we were just talking before we turned on the camera about what was your favorite, you know, entree or food at either restaurant and pretty much everything that we said was all at Hell's Kitchen and not Ramsey's Kitchen. We do think it seemed to be overpriced for even a celebrity restaurant. Definitely. We both left very full, but we did spend more money at Ramsey's Kitchen than we did at Hell's Kitchen and we greatly preferred the Hell's Kitchen experience. And the fact that we actually didn't even get an entree, technically, yeah. like two entrees I guess That's at Ramsey's right. Kitchen. That's right. And we got the prefix menu at Hell's Kitchen. We originally were going to do three Ramsey restaurants for this video, but we got to looking at the menus online and they just about all serve the same thing. So if you're a Gordon Ramsay fan and you're planning on going to one of his restaurants in Las Vegas, our recommendation definitely is Hell's Kitchen. All right, that's it for this one, guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell. We'll see you in the next video because there's always more for us to show you. On Show Me Vegas. Bye, guys.